hi everyone welcome back to this uh, another video tutorial of today and in this video uh, as the title suggests we'll see how to create an azure linux virtual machine and then we'll see how we can connect to it through another azure service that is azure bastion without using a public ip with your virtual machine so if you need to know more about azure bastion service then we already have a, uh, a full video about it which you can see for more information and I will provide the link in the description below. Uh, this Bastion service will help us to securely SSH to this Azure VM without opening the port 22 to outside world and it's like uh, you know uh, using a jump box uh, but we need not to maintain it as this is a pass offering from Azure. So let's begin guys. First we are going to create a VNet and then from that vnet we will also configure the azure bastion host as the bastion host has a dependency of a virtual network and then we will launch our virtual machines in the same vnet so let's start so here we are going to create a virtual network first click on create virtual network i do not have a resource group currently so let's create a new resource group for this one i'll call it demo1 I'll give my vnet a name, I'll call it uh, let's say a Linux vnet and let's stay with the West US 2 click on IP addresses uh, if you want you can stay with the same IP address range and if you don't want you can change it I'll stick with this, the similar one I'm gonna change the, the subnet name here I'll put it uh, vm subnet you can name your subnet according to your planning and i'll go with this one here so let's say this is what we have click on save click on security and here i'm going to enable the bastion host so if you just enable it will ask you to configure it give it a name i'll call it let's say bastion one uh, you want a bastion azure bastion subnet with the same name so give it a and you need to specify an ip range for it which should have at least 26 or 27 as a subnet mask i'll go with 10.0.255.0.0.0 and let's say 26 it will work yep uh, it needs a public ip so i'll create a new public ip although your virtual machine will not require a public ip i'll call it let's say bastion ip1 click on ok and that's it click on i'm not uh, enabling ddos and the firewall because this is uh, this video is more about bastion host and the linux vm click on tax also tax are very important for your cost optimization and to tracking the cost but currently we're not using it uh, click on review and create it's going to validate my deployment and once it is done we will submit our deployment for the creation of vnet it's done so let's click on create and it will start initializing the deployment for the virtual network so in the meantime when the virtual network gets configured let's go and start uh, launching our virtual machine as well in the meantime this will be ready let's go back to home and click on virtual machine currently we don't have any virtual machine so click on add hopefully by the time the resource group and all these things would be ready let's select the resource group yes it's showing here so demo one i'm going to select the demo one here i'll give it a name i'll call it uh, uh, let's call it Linux VM1. Yeah, I'll stick with the same location or the region. I don't want any redundancy. So, and let's go with the CentOS based, right? Select a size which you need. Currently, we are not going for a spot based in census. We don't want that. Now, your Azure allows you to have two different kind of an authentication mechanism either it can be based for your linux machine it can be based on ssh public or the private key pair or the password now as your if you select ssh public key if you might have seen our earlier video also it was uh, this option of generating QP, uh, new key pair was not available in the portal itself now they have started giving that option where you can automatically generate an ssh key pair for you and it also allows you to store it for the future use right so it's uh, so <coughs> other than that you have another option you can click on existing key if you have 
and you can use public key also right we are not doing that we are go just going to generate the new key pair as we are going to use the bastion service i am not going to use uh, i am not going to open any inbound uh, public inbound ports on my virtual machine so i am going to click on none here then let's go with the disk I'll stay with the default configuration which is being offered to me. Let's click on networking. This is where the uh, crux of this video is there. So let's select our virtual network. This is the network which we have, Linux VNet. And then this is the subnet. If you look at it here, we got two subnets. It will not allow us to go for uh, go and select Azure Bastion. So we have to select with the VM subnet one. I don't want a public IP as because we are using a Bastion host, uh, Bastion service. So we do not need a public IP attached to my uh, virtual machine. So I'll select, uh, select none here. Here also I'm not going to open any uh, public inbound ports, I'll uh, stay with the none. And that's it, click on management, disable, let's click on advanced, nothing here, all the tags would be very useful but I'm not doing it, review plus create, so it's creating our, I mean it's uh, initializing or the validating the deployment, once it is done we can click on create and the virtual machine would be created. So this is the point where it asks whether you want to download this private key and the create resource or you just want to uh, create a virtual machine guys please remember uh, once this resource is created you won't be able to download this private key again so it's uh, the opportunity to, to download it and keep it safe somewhere so I'm gonna download this one and once it is downloaded the creation of the virtual machine will start So now you can see our virtual machine is ready. Let's go to resource and this is where you see all these options regarding a virtual machine. So what we do uh, to connect through a bastion host, you can click on connect. Either you can use SSH as a traditional way to connect but we don't have a public IP currently. So we'll go and use the bastion service as suggested earlier. Click on bastion and here you click on use bastion. Now it will ask you uh, the username. So we know the username is Azure user. And you have got different options depends upon what kind of a configuration you have selected while launching your virtual machine. If it was a password, you can use username and password. We opted for a SSH uh, way of authentication. So either you can click on this one and you can copy and paste the content of your key here. Or if you can bring the file which is locally stored on your laptop or desktop. I'm going to do that. Click on SSH private key from local file and browse for the file. And here is the file. So I'm going to with that. And if you click on advanced, it will ask you to put up a SSH path, a passphrase. If you have already applied a passphrase to your key file, you don't. So click on connect and it will start connecting to your virtual machine, Linux based virtual machine in the browser itself. So you can securely connect to it without opening that port 22 to the whole world. I'm allowing this text and image copy to the clipboard and if you will see I am already logged into the virtual machine. If I just try to run the host name it will give me the host name. So this is the virtual machine which we got connected to. So this is how your bastion service can help you to securely connect to your Azure Linux virtual machine without opening port 22 for the outer world. Now if you go to the bastion service you can also disconnect or monitor the session which is currently going on. You can see we have a session going on here. Click on the sessions. It will start loading the number of sessions for you. And if you want, you can just select this session and you can forcefully remove the user or disconnect it also. The moment you click on delete here, this guy will get a message that you are, have been disconnected. He has an option to reconnect or to close the session. So that's all about it guys. So that's how you can make use of Azure Bastion service to securely connect to your Azure Linux virtual machine with the help of a SSH key file without opening port 22 for the outside world. Thank you.